This video is designed to help you either set up the Snowball mic or troubleshoot the Snowball mic if you're trying to use it with uh, Pro Tools as an input in our uh, Digital Arts Lab in Davis. First thing you want to do is plug it in and make sure that that red light is on on the front of it. Uh, and then the second thing you can do is uh, if you do a search by hitting Command Spacebar, uh, search for Audio MIDI Setup. You'll see this little keyboard icon and you double click on it. That's going to launch this uh, setup app. Um, in the window, you want to make sure on the left hand side, Pro Tools Aggregate is highlighted in blue. Okay. And then on the right hand side, look at these this use column. Check that uh, built in output and Snowball Mic are, are checked. Uh, you also, in this middle section, want to make sure everything is highlighted in blue and green. Um, Sample rate should be set to 44.1 kilohertz, and you want to use a clock source of the built-in output. So just copy the settings on the right-hand side, and you should be good to go uh, with this. Um, and then uh, when you're done with that, go ahead and quit this app, uh, again, by uh, using the menu at the top. Uh, and then you're ready to go ahead and launch Pro Tools, which might take a few minutes to launch. Um, but after it's done, the uh, first thing you do, obviously, is set up your uh, session. Uh, and you can do that here in this window, um, creating a new session. Um, make sure you give it a good name uh, that is uh, descriptive in terms of what it is you're working on. Uh, the settings down here, uh, we're going to use CD quality, uh, and so 16-bit depth and 44.1 kilohertz as the uh, project settings. Uh, location, you want to look for uh, it to say desktop. That's where you're going to save it initially, but you're obviously, when you're done working in the lab, you want to back it up to your external media. So um, once you're in Pro Tools, uh, you want to go over to the uh, setup window here. Uh, and under setup, you're going to look for this option that says playback engine. Okay, that's going to launch this uh, little window, and you want to set that playback engine to be the same Pro Tools aggregate device that you set up before in the Audio MIDI uh, setup. Click yes when it asks you, uh, and it's going to actually restart your session at this point. So um, go ahead and let it restart and hit OK. Um, and once it's restart, it should be now using that new configuration that we just set up in earlier. So after you've created the track, you should be able to um, select your input. I know it says built-in microphone here, but actually because of the, the way we've overridden the system settings, uh, it's actually using the Snowball mic. Uh, if you don't see that drop down list, you just go up to the view menu here and make sure that this I.O. option is checked. Uh, that's the thing that actually reveals that sub menu for uh, selecting your input. And again, make sure it says built in microphone one uh, on any track that you want to record from. Uh, if you click this record enable button uh, and tap on the microphone, you should see the level meter start going up and down. Uh, and then you actually get the little red light probably at the top as well. Um, if you tap the top of the iMac, uh, you shouldn't see the level meter go up and down. Um, that's a good way to test to make sure it's actually using the Snowball mic and not the built-in microphone in your iMac, uh, which is actually located on the top of the monitor. Um, about this little red light, that's actually a, a, the clip indicator light. So when we talked about clipping, when that goes off, uh, you're gonna, it, it means that you actually clipped in your session. Uh, you want to make sure that you uh, click it to reset it. Uh, but you should now be able to record enable and then hit play on the session and it will start recording into the track for you. Um, when you're done, hit stop and you've got your audio ready uh, set up to record and you can use that uh, for your project.